My one thing that I've always wanted to learn how to do is how to temper chocolate. And so I invited my friend Priscilla, the pastry chef, to come and teach me. So what do I need to know? So first we're gonna take our chocolate mm -hmm. and you're gonna want to cut it up into smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. Normally when you get it at the store um, or anywhere, it's already tempered. So in order to do different things with it, we're gonna melt it and re-temper it into whatever shape we want. We're gonna put it on our double boiler. We have to melt it all the way down. Okay. So you're gonna wanna stir it while it's melting because if you put it on the pot and you walk away and you do something, you're gonna end up with like, it looks like chocolate chips because uh -huh. the chocolate will have burned. Okay. So if you're gonna put it on, you gotta stay there. You gotta babysit for a little while. Okay. People are afraid of tempering chocolate. Only because there's a lot of different steps mm -hmm. and you know, you get caught up doing something and you don't want to do all the steps so you think you can take a shortcut and it's really about the directions and the steps that you have to take. So I think that's why it seems overwhelming. We're looking for a temperature around 131 to 136. Mm -hmm. That means like you're there. Okay. Now we're gonna take it down. Right, we're gonna cool it down so you'll get like a really stable, shiny chocolate. So when you get it on the bowl, it's super important that you don't get any water in it. It's kind of like on off, oh, okay. on off. And then I go like this. Exactly. So now you can see in the bowl that there's this kind of like really cold outer part of it, mm -hmm. which is obviously what was touching the ice. Okay. So you're gonna take that chocolate and press with your spatula like this to kind of like take the warmer chocolate in the middle of the bowl and kind of like warm the outside. Okay, this is so important, that texture of just pressing the hot chocolate. Right, it just melts it and then you can see the sides of the bowl again, then you know you can get back on there. Okay. Yeah, we mix around to make sure everything's the same temperature. Because if I took the temperature on the one side of the bowl, it's gonna be cold, because that was what was touching. So you wanna take your thermometer and touch the middle here. So you wanna get to 82 to 84 degrees. That's like your your cold temperature. And then we're gonna bring it back up. Right, so we can work with it. Right. Because when it was down that low, it's like really fudgy. Yeah. So we're gonna go back on our heat. This is the hard part too, just like the ice. Once you're off the heat, you wanna scrape all the chocolate that's on the sides because that was what was getting direct heat. So you're gonna stir so all your chocolate is the same temperature and then you're gonna take the temperature. I'm at 89. Okay, so you're ready to go. So now we just wanna make sure that we're definitely in temper. The fastest way to do it is taking something metal, whether it's a butter knife or an offset spatula at home, and you're just gonna like dip it in the chocolate. Okay. This is maybe one of the hardest parts because you gotta just leave it alone for a second. So right now we're really looking for it to just solidify and give you that snap, the tempered chocolate mm -hmm. you know, look from A to Z within like three minutes because it's Valentine's Day. I wanted to do that dessert that's like the chocolate dome and then you pour the melted chocolate right, over and it. it. Melts. Yeah, and then you see the amazing inside. dessert inside. Got it. Okay. So we have our tempered chocolate from A to Z. Now we can take it and then we'll just dunk. So my bowl's a little shallow, but you can just roll it around, right? Until you get all the way around. And then we're just gonna let that set like the knife set. Okay. We're gonna get this really cool hard shell. I can't believe we made this, thank yeah. you. This is the chocolate dome that has the dessert inside and then you pour the hot stuff over it and then it melts and then you eat it. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's dig in. Okay. All right. So gooey. And healthy. <laughs> Filled with vitamin C for chocolate. If you love chocolate and do you want more tips, check out more One Thing videos and of course check out Priscilla. At Restaurant Gabriel Kreuther in New York City.